These empty thoughts of darkness run through my head. I'm thinking about leaving this world. I might as well be dead. There's a boy getting bullied every day at school. Going home, he acts like he can handle it alone. School isn't fun anymore, though. He questions his purpose to breathe. All these bullies making fun of him, pushing him around, but telling him to be quiet when teachers are around. I might as well leave. That's what he believes. That's what he tells himself before falling asleep. He doesn't have any friends, so why not put it to an end? There's a girl. People question her when she cries over her bad grades, but what they don't know is that at home she gets beat if her grades are down or below. She has a standard she has to meet, or else the neighbors hear the faint cry and scream as her parents give her a lesson she won't forget. But she returns to school every day with a smile on her face like she's okay. You would never know that she actually wants to go away to a place where everything is believed to be better and safe. There's another girl. Depression is eating her away. She has no parents where she stays, but she doesn't know how to speak up and say. She's close to the edge, but you would never know. She doesn't know how long she can back away. Her parents are gone. They decided not to stay, leaving her to fend for herself every day. They left me. They don't want me, or else they would have stayed. She feels unwanted and alone, like she has no purpose. Why must I stay when no one wants me anyways? She hates herself. She hates who she's turning out to be. She hates her grades, her school, and the fact that no one wants to stay. I'm done. I'm through. It's time for me to go away. Pencils and paper out and ready to go. They decided if they must go, they should at least leave a note. Dear mom, dear dad, I'm sorry I had to be this way. I cannot stay. I love you. I hope you know. But I must go. I cannot stay. I love you. I hope that this opens your eyes and makes you realize that everyone is silently fighting their own fight. Some people hold on. Some people let go. This is my last option, mom. I hope you know. I love you both and I want you to know I will be fighting you both from above, not below. You won't see me, but don't worry though. I'm watching over you. I know you'll make it through. Goodbye. And as they're fading away, they see their lives in a different way, realizing all the things they just gave away. But it's over now, no turning back. And the last thought was, I wish I would have stayed. If you go now, you leave behind all these questions, like why did she have to die? Why did he silently struggle and die? You leave friends and family wondering what they did wrong, well. leaving teachers and co-workers wondering if they could have done more. Have you ever been to a funeral of someone who left too soon? Their spirit fills the sad, dark room. And as you watch them get lowered into the ground, you can't help but wonder how they were found. But as your mind fades off to the crowd, you realize it's not as silent as your head made it sound. Flashing lights and sirens off in the distance because their mom just can't believe her sweet baby actually did it. They don't look so peaceful like people say they should, do they? You look down and you see the ugly lines around their arms or the tightened rope marks left behind. But why? Why must people give up and stop trying instead of reaching out and asking for help? I'm sure they could have found it. You might not want to hear this, but my story is just the same. And it's a shame I thought of leaving. I'm glad I decided to stay. Because if I didn't, my nephew would have cried every day, asking himself, why did my sissy go away? And if you think for one second, no one cares enough for you to stay. You are wrong, you are loved. So please, won't you stay?